guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a color challenge video so if you're new to my channel this is kind of like a journal with me video but with a twist so i'm basically going to be doing a challenge where i blindly pick out a color from a pile of rainbow colors so based off the color i pick i'm going to be making a spread using that color only so previously i've done this challenge and an example is that i picked out the color yellow before and based off the color yellow the color yellow actually makes me think of summer so i made a spread about summer using only the color yellow so I hope that makes sense and yeah for this video I've decided that instead of only doing one color I'm gonna try and choose three colors randomly out of the bunch of rainbow colors so this is the pile of rainbow colors that I'm gonna choose from this is just my art line sticks coloring markers so with whatever color I pick I will just use different shades of that color so how I'm going to choose this I'm gonna close my eyes and just mix it around and then I'll just pick out whatever color I guess my hand wants to pick up I hope the colors I pick actually match with one another but we'll see okay so I'll pick up this color so this is the first color I chose I will put it to the side and then look at the end okay number two I don't know if I'm like number two I hope I can make it work because there's some colors that really don't match well with one another. We'll see. It's a challenge after all, so. Third color. So that is the third color I chose. And this is all the leftovers. Okay, so now I'm still not looking. I'm gonna open my eyes and see what colors I chose. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. I chose yellow, green, and brown. These colors actually match. It kind of reminds me of like a flowery theme. I'm so excited now. Okay, I'm gonna move on and bring out my journal. So the journal I'm going to be using is my K-pop journal. I'm not really gonna journal about K-pop. Like I might add some K-pop elements here and there, but I don't think I'm gonna necessarily journal about K-pop. But I wanted to use my bigger journal because I haven't used this A5 journal in a while. So I'm gonna be using this journal. For now, I'm just gonna speed it up and I'm gonna take all of the items, stationary items that can fit this color scheme. I'll just take out the things that I think I will use. So yeah, I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, so this is pretty much everything I picked out. I obviously have more things that are brown, green, and yellow, but these are just all the things that I think I'm going to use. I've actually been sitting here for quite some time because I'm just thinking of what to talk about, but I can only think of one theme that I can do and obviously journal about anything I want. But I want to use this challenge as a way to write about different things, not just the regular day in my life or just documenting how I feel right now like if you really don't have any idea of what to journal about this is another idea just pick a color and whatever reminds you of that color or whatever you think of because of that color write about it so right now the theme I'm gonna go with for this journal is nature because these are all colors that remind me of the nature and trees and flowers and all of that so I'm just gonna journal about it okay so I hope you guys don't mind this angle so I'm gonna be talking and then later on when I have nothing else to say I'll just speed it up so I'm just gonna pick out the photos so yeah I'm gonna be journaling about the beauty of nature I think that's the title I'm gonna go with for this spread I don't really necessarily have a big connection to nature I would say that's because firstly, I'm not a big fan of nature. I don't mean to sound ignorant or unappreciative, 
but to me nature is just something that I don't really enjoy when I'm in it but I do see the beauty of it like for example I just really don't like being in like grassy areas or where trees are because I don't know if it's my allergies or anything but it usually affects my nose and just my skin and I just don't like being in nature and I just get irritated physically I just don't thrive in those environments so I'm more of a city girl but because I am talking about the beauty of nature I'm gonna just say that I do appreciate and love nature for what it is and what it does because I don't know I feel like without trees and flowers and all the animals and all of that we wouldn't be able to function i just feel like that's the case i'm not even entirely sure but that's just what i think i also really appreciate and like when people have plants in their house and stuff and i've noticed a trend on youtube where some vloggers i don't know some people that i watch personally they go out of their way to buy plants for their rooms and stuff for decor or maybe just so the air is better in their room i don't know but it's also an aesthetic thing and i really like it i don't know i'm not a nature person if i haven't already stressed that enough but yeah i just i like the aesthetic of it not really that educated about its benefits though which is my own personal fault which sucks but yeah i just don't know a lot of course nature doesn't necessarily mean that it's like the trees and everything Nature can also be like the mountains and beaches and anything that just was not made by humans. It's just crazy how the world works and to think that we live in a world with such beautiful things. Like wow, Mother Nature really did that, you know? She really popped off. I have no idea what to say. Yeah, I want to be more, I guess, educated or more appreciative of nature but it just always throws me off that i just don't thrive in those environments more so the environments with like trees and dirt and flowers and grass and also bugs i don't like bugs so that's not good as well but maybe i'm just being a little chicken like i should just man up and just deal with it and appreciate it more i have no idea but i think it's pretty normal when people just can't stand those environments like some people don't really like the city and that type of environment but for me i like it much more i also don't really like beaches as well because of the sand I, I just don't like going outside it just sounds like i don't like going outside but i feel like that's the truth i prefer just chilling and doing less adventurous things i have no idea how to explain it but i really am not that type of person to go out and explore and go hiking and camping i've like thought about it and stuff going camping because i have friends and relatives who want to go camping but just thinking of all the bugs i just cannot deal with it i just don't like bugs that much bugs just scare me and gross me out so there's that I do, however, want to see snow in person. Snow is something that is not common here in Australia. Like during winter, it does not snow. Unfortunately, I wish it did. I feel like it would be so cool if it were to snow. I went to this snowy mountains place years ago when I was much younger. But it wasn't like snowing, snowing. Like there was ice on the ground and stuff, but it wasn't like the type of snow that fell from the sky like i want to see that type of snow it just looks so cool how should i do this okay this is gonna get messed up this layout that i set up i say that as a person who gets so cold easily like damn but snow just looks really pretty in photos it would just be nice to experience it at least once especially like during christmas it looks so nice seeing people experience like a white Christmas because in Australia it's summer when it's Christmas like it's so hot during Christmas season let me know what kind of environment you guys thrive in I just feel like it would be interesting to know because I know people who love going to the beach I know people who don't like going to the beach 
it's all up to personal preference but yeah i want to know what you guys like do you like the heat do you like the winter do you like summer do you like snowing and also are you a plant person i don't know it looks so nice to have plants in your room it just looks so cool maybe i might join the bandwagon of having plants in your room and being that aesthetic person but i also don't want to be a blender also another thing that's stopping me from even getting plants is i don't have a lot of room in my room and also i don't think i would be very good at taking care of plants it's like taking care of a pet in my opinion like you have to water it and you have to give it a certain amount of water which i'm not entirely sure like how much like of course research i'm just gonna say i don't think i would be a good plant parent so i think that idea is gonna go down the drain regardless i do remember a time where i did enjoy being in like nature or whatever it would have to be just the moments where i'm at the beach i think i talked about this in my other color challenge video i think the beach I don't really like necessarily but when you're with the right people that's when i enjoy it most i'm more of a people's person not really a person who admires my surroundings like that i do appreciate aesthetics and architecture here and there but i'm more of a people's person like if i vibe with the people that's all like i'm happy i don't really mind where i am as long as i'm with good people I'm out here just rambling on. All in all, I do highly appreciate nature for what it is. I just don't like being in it because of my personal circumstances and how I feel and I just don't thrive in it, period. But I appreciate it for what it is and I have a heart as well. I hate to see that our world is kind of dying because of like global warming and climate change and all of that stuff and it sucks like all the bushfires happening in australia right now still going by the way it's just sad because australia is pretty much known for it all the beautiful landscapes that it has but to see that it's being destroyed because of these fires it's just sad to see and it's been it's actually been a while since we've experienced blue skies it's always smoky in australia or more so where i live right now so i'm from sydney and it's always smoky outside there was actually a period where there were blue skies and this was after like some rain passed by and damn that was a blessing but it sucks that it's still going on and just hope that it stops eventually so yeah i just i don't necessarily hate nature like that i just don't thrive in it so i hope no nature fans get offended or upset with me that's just me as a person i'm sorry but yeah i'm gonna continue journaling so i can actually get more stuff done because i've barely done anything and i've just been talking and rambling about random stuff so i will just finish up this spread and see what i can do and then i'll talk to you guys when i'm done
Okay, so I managed to finish the spread and I'm so sorry for the change in lighting and also if you hear any background noises. It took me a long time to actually film this video because my camera battery kept dying and there was times where I just didn't know what I wanted to do. So it took me quite a while and the sun went down so I apologize for the change in lighting. But yeah, this is the spread that I managed to come up with. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that I managed to use these colors well? I don't know. I think I did a good job. I really like the border and just how I laid it all out. It's been a while since I've journaled in such a large scale. Well, not so large. It's not that large. It's only A5. But I've been journaling in a really small journal lately so it feels nice to experiment and try new things in a bigger size so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you did like this video comment down below if you have anything to say also subscribe if you haven't already i am so sorry for rambling so much in this video i just wanted to add some talking parts into this video because i want to make my video a little interesting i don't know i am so sorry again i feel like i just said a lot of things and right now i'm rambling again anyway i'll just just end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you later. 